Hi everyone, I'm Dawn from Creative Applications. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for being here. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified when I upload new content. In today's video, we're going to do a super fun project that will get lots of laughs and will be a joy for you to create. They are toilet paper sayings. So we have um, over 20 different sayings right now on the website that are really cute and they make great gag gifts, great white elephant gifts, and they're just really fun to have it sitting on the back of your toilet during the holiday season. We're going to talk about how to hoop it for both a multi-needle multi machine and a single needle machine. So if this stays in, uh, sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. So let's talk about what we're going to need today. We are going to need our hoop, whether you're using a single needle or a multi-needle. Today I'm going to be sewing it on my Rakoma MT1501, but this can also be done on a single needle. Um, and it could also be done on a single needle if you only have a 4x4 hoop because the designs are all only 3.5 inches. Um, you're going to need some tearaway stabilizer. You're going to need some poly mesh stabilizer, not the fusible. You're going to need some water soluble stabilizer. And then I tear off about um, 12 squares of a two ply toilet paper, the nice thick two ply toilet paper. So it gives the design some stability. Um, and I tear it off from the roll because that way you don't have to be watching the roll and the rest of the toilet paper moving around as you're trying to stitch it. So let's go through the steps of how we create this sandwich to hoop it. So I'm going to grab my hooping station here. And put down my Mighty Hoop. My, this is the 5.5 Mighty Hoop, which um, will fit the 4x4 designs. Okay, so the first layer I'm going to do is the tearaway. The tearaway is going to go first. All right, tearaway. Then the poly mesh. Okay. Then the poly mesh. Then the next thing, I'll move that down a little bit so it just grabs it just a smidge. There we go. So we've got tearaway, we've got poly mesh. Then we have, we take the toilet paper and we fold it so that we have. We have a fold, and um, so on about the third square, okay? So the third square. So we're gonna just line it up here and put the center of a square in the center of the hoop, okay? And now the water soluble stabilizer on there. and we will put on the top hoop. And now we're ready to sew the design. So for the single needle um, machines, I would hoop it differently. I will put down in the same order, the tearaway, then the poly mesh. Then I would hoop those two like that, okay? Now I will take the toilet paper, again, the third square in the center here, like so. Now several options for 
um, holding down the um, toilet paper. You, if you have these handy dandy so tight magnets, you can um, put them on the edges of the toilet paper out of the way of the design. But of course, I don't think I need to say this, you're always going to do a trace of it. Um, you could use these quilt clips to just clip it to the side of the frame. That broke. Okay. Um, without breaking them. That one broke too. These must be old. I need new ones. Um, anyway, if you have some kind of clips, binder clips would also work. Um, you could pin it as well along the edges outside of it. So now we're going to load the design to the machine and we will stitch it out. Okay, now we're going to um, clean it up. So we're going to gently unhoop it. I'm going to clean up some of these little stray pieces of thread. Not too much cleanup. And now we're going to gently pull away the water soluble stabilizer. I use this um, to make sure that the stitches don't sink down into the toilet paper, but also um, it's one more level of protection. Uh, you obviously are not going to want to wet it to remove it. Um, but you can gently just tear it away from all the areas. And if you don't get it all, it's, it's not going to matter too much. Okay. So now on the back side, my bobbin is having issues. Um, we're just going to tear away the stabilizer just from the outside. I like to use the tear away because it gives it a little bit more extra stability since it's so flimsy. And now we're going to trim the excess poly mesh. So if you want, you can leave it on the ends here. That could help, you know, um, slide around, roll around on the toilet paper. if you wish. And one of the reasons why I like to remove, um, tear off the edges, end of the uh, toilet paper is because when you have these in a bathroom over time, and if it's sitting on top of a toilet or on the counter of the bathroom, toilet paper can get really dusty and, and dirty. So I like to tear it away because then that way, if the people, person you give this to um, has it, they can just unroll this part and put it on a brand new um, roll of toilet paper. So now we're going to take it and just simply roll it back up on there. Keeps coming undone. Okay, so we have that. And then I like to just take two straight pins and stick them in there to hold it. All right. And then if you're giving it as a gift or you want to sell these at craft shows, craft fairs, I simply get a bread and butter bag, bread and butter, sorry, food and bread bag. 
It's the perfect size and some nice ribbon. This is kind of like an ornament twist tie kind of thing to make it a nice decorative gift. Okay, and there you have it. So this is a really fun gift to give. Uh, they're perfect for white elephants. They're perfect for gag gifts. Um, you know, if you just need something snarky or funny. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up so I know you enjoy my content and want to keep seeing more of it. And have a great day and make your life creative.